Hello lovebirds, Tanya TKO here, and today we're going to talk about is your relationship reciprocal. If you're interested in any parts of this outfit from top to bottom, you can watch my outfit of the day video by going to tanyatko.com and clicking on the link for outfit of the day. Okay, so right into today's video. Um, I'm making this video for you to just take a step back just take a moment back and then just analyze your relationship and think about what it is that you're putting into the relationship versus what the other person is putting in and is there an equal exchange of energies nobody's saying that we have to do tit for tat or count um, count deeds etc that's not what I'm implying at all what I'm implying is the general sentiment and the investment into the relationship both in its fostering its development its growth and its security are you and your partner giving into the relationship equally um, are you depositing as well as taking out is the other person also depositing as well as taking out because it cannot be a one-way street um, if the relationship is not reciprocal the reason why I am making this, this video is because of some things that I, I see on Facebook um, and because I felt that there were people who may have needed to hear this and um, and there comes a there comes a, a stage in it seems like there comes a stage in people's relationships where they where the reciprocity um, begins to wane and in an act of desperation they begin to do things that further push the person away in the video I did called um, how to get mr. Wright to fall in love with you we talked about creating um, enough habits investment and interest in yourself so that when the time comes to give the relationship a little bit of space and breathing room that you have enough things going on in your own life to be able to create some breathing room in the relationship because a fire you know a fire if I had a fire and I covered it with this jar what would happen to the fire the fire would die but if I gave it some air the fire would grow larger, too much air, and the fire blows out. So you have to find that that natural happy balance in your relationship with protecting your own self-worth, your own self-love. When that starts to wane, you know, some interesting activities begin to take place, like some things I've seen on Facebook, like people, you know, desperately posting anything and everything on their partner's wall, you know, tagging them in it, you know, um, doing things to let other people know that this person is taken, etc. And you know, let's talk about that real briefly. I wasn't planning on going on that segue, but you know, we really, you know, relationship, you don't really own or possess anybody, you know, for the whole taken kind of thing. You know, a person can be in relationship with you. But remember, all relationships were not meant to last, only that one that leads to marriage, and then half of those end in divorce. So I definitely want you to keep in mind that it's okay. No one can take anything that is rightfully yours. The more I the more I go in, into this process, you know, getting closer and closer to my, my soulmate, I realize that what the universe has set for you oh no one can throw off kilter the universe has a way of making what is meant to happen happen so you know so I just I, I want you to just take a, a few moments to look at your actions and look at look at what's going on in your relationship think about yourself and how you feel about yourself and what I don't want you to do is to deplete your worth and your self-worth you know what speaking of worth and self-worth I'm also I'm doing the self-esteem summit in New York City at the end of June so you can also come to my website tanyatko.com and get more information on the self-esteem summit because you know um, relationships are a reflection of what's going on inside of us as well and so when you um when you get into a relationship and you and you and you know as I was saying you know we are really just spending moments in time with people. Let me let me grab the door. I'm gonna be right back. It's just that it's been ringing all day and it's not for me. The people upstairs are having like a concert and hold on for a moment. Just a moment. Okay, and I'm back. That was actually my landlord. We're I'm in a commercial building, so in a commercial building, things are so much different than in a residential building because residential, you know, people who are supposed to be visiting, they visit, and in a commercial building, people are constantly in and out all day long, and sometimes there are people coming in off of the street, and there are other businesses. There are two other businesses here, 
down on the first floor is like a medical supply place or and then they do like um drug testing for like jobs <laughs> and then upstairs there's like this orchestra and they have like these rehearsals and this loud music coming through the floor and they do these concerts and stuff so but nonetheless nonetheless you know we, we worked that out and i, I kind of got disrupted from my groove where we were but i believe that we were talking about <clears throat> In terms of relationship, you know, think of it instead of as possession, think of it as renting. And think of this person as a mirror, you know, a reflection of what's happening inside of you. And so I so you know what oh how do I get back into what I was saying? You know, you're 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 in this in this life, but for a few moments with another person to reflect back to you what it is that you are mirroring or what it is that they're mirroring back to you. Um, like for example, if your relationship is not reciprocal, in that video where we talked about um, toxic tic tac toe and where we talked about in the soul love series where we talked about revealing your relationship patterns. If this is a pattern from one relationship to another where you are constantly having to try to gain validation, constantly having to vie for this person's affection, you may want to look and see, you know, um, some of your habits and patterns that were built during childhood. And you know what, during the Self Love Summit, we're actually going to be doing some exercises to help heal some of those old wounds. So, um, so again, if you're interested in that, please come to my website. It's going to be in two weeks. Well, actually, look, 10 days now. So nonetheless, I wanted to go down this list really quickly. Um, and this is going to have to do with both you and your partner. Number one, it's not up to you to solely make yourself feel secure in the relationship. That's not what I'm saying. Two, um, when you're in a relationship with another person, you guys, the relationship is the thing that you both are working on. And you guys come up with an agreement to, you know, look out for the other person and to be considerate of this person. And number three, I said this already, the relationship is a common goal, the common, think of it as the product between you guys that you all are, are both working on. Um, four, you really have to communicate what it is that's making you feel secure, insecure. Talk to your partner about some of these things. I don't know if your partner's flirting with other people, if your partner's not giving you the attention that you feel that you need. Um, you know what, all of this is really full circle because what it is, the, the complaints that you have about another individual, especially in relationship with that person, is really indicative of something, a much larger issue going on inside of you, something from the past, something um, from the, the, the recent past, sometimes even something from past lives, but that's a whole other video. Uh, but you have, to, you have to communicate, like let's say for example, if your partner is constantly staring at other people and it makes you uncomfortable, you know, you have to communicate this with your partner. If your partner is constantly talking about other men or women, if you're your partner used to be bisexual and now has a very interesting relationship with someone of the same sex and it makes you feel insecure or or let's say your partner was openly bisexual and now they've committed to being hetero with you and there are some things that they do that make you feel insecure you know communicate with this person um, if they're not spending as much time if they are doing things that make you feel ill at ease the first person that you have to kind of weed through these things with is yourself you know and then talk with them about it and um, if you you know and this person should be able to I mean there are little tweaks that we can do that you know if it doesn't compromise us as a human being that can make our partners feel a little more secure a little more at home in the relationship a little more like I said in, in point number one it's not up to you to solely be I mean you're not in relation well you are in relationship with yourself but you're not only in this union with yourself so it's not up to you to have to do everything in the relationship in terms of effort in terms of output in terms of all of that you know have a conversation with your mate and if your mate is not considerate of your feelings or if you are realizing that you are experiencing, you know, a lot of self-doubt and, you know, self-sabotage self and self-abuse or whatnot, 
that is outside of the scope of your partner's responsibility, you may need to take a break from that relationship. One, you know, there are two different things going on in this video. One is the issue that lie within you. Two is the issue which lie, would lie inside that relationship. And if you are constantly feeling insecure, undervalued, undermined, um, pushed aside, ignored, ex taken for granted, you have to ask yourself, why are you in that relationship? It may be time for you to remove yourself from that relationship, get into a relationship with yourself, work on some of the things that may be, you know, past issues and past, especially if it's a pattern. Um, and if you are with a person who is just completely not respectful of your feelings and not respectful of the relationship, then that's definitely an indication that that, that you need to seek relationship elsewhere, either with yourself or with somebody who can give you more of what you know that you deserve. If you are getting something in your relationship that you know, that you know without a shadow of a doubt in your heart of hearts, in your spirit, and in your being, if they're doing things to you that you know, that you, and you know that you deserve better, you know, then it's up to you to put your foot down, your theoretical, your theoretic foot down and go elsewhere, find a relationship that you can be more comfortable, one that's more reciprocal. I wanted to end on this, you know, Lauren Hill made this song <laughs> where she sang, tell me who I have to be to gain some reciprocity. And reciprocity, if you look that up in the dictionary, it's like it's the flow, the two-way street. And remember, Lauren Hill went and she had five, was it five children from, um, I, I don't remember his name, it wasn't Ziggy Marley, um, Rohan, Rohan Marley, Bob Marley's son. And she went and she had five children from him. And um, when they broke up, he immediately, like the next person he was in relationship with, he went and, and, and became engaged to be married you know so it's like sometimes we're ill pa ill paired and you can cut down on some of your own pain and some of your own turmoil and suffering by taking a step back and working on your own issues because one way or another you are going to work on those issues one way or another they're going to be addressed either on your own or in the relationship with another person. So you can save yourself some pain by concentrating all of your focus on healing some of your past hurts. Save yourself some of the pain by focusing in on self because every it's like it's all self anyway. I would love your comments below. Uh, please add your please add your comments. Tell me what it was that you thought about the topic. Is this something that you are currently struggling with, and what are you going to do about it? Did you understand everything that I said? If you have a topic that you'd like to see for a future video, um, please write me. Come to my website tanyatko.com. You can write me on my website and be able to submit a future video topic. And I also, I wanted to give away a prize in today's video. Let me get the person's name just a moment. Okay, and in the video, what is self-love? I asked the question, the different types of love. And Ray Don the Angel came out with a very comprehensive answer of um, philia, family love, agape, the unconditional love, storge, which is the natural affection, eros, which is, you know, erotic love. And, um, and I think there was one more, I'm not sure, but I wanted to go ahead and give away this prize because this person, you know, did the, did the work behind the scenes. They said that they remembered this off the top of their head, so they deserve a prize just for that alone because it would have been so easy to Google it. So Ray Dom the Angel, you have won an autographed picture of your girl, ah, Tanya T. TKO. <laughs> You've won an autographed picture of Tiny TKO. So just come to my website, write me. I need your I need your address, and uh, I need to know that it's you, not somebody else trying to claim your prize. So I need your address. Come over to TanyaTKO.com, claim your prize, and I'll send this right out to you. Congratulations, darling! And you never know when I'm going to have a giveaway in my video. So thank you so much for participating in that. And so listen, we're going to get out of the video. Um, Today was a really kind of low-key, mellow video for me because this weighs very heavily on me, you know, when 
when I see people doing things or when I, when it, it's, it just, it saddens me, you know, when we, when we engage in self-abusive and self-destructive behavior. And that's part of the reason that I felt called to do the self-love summit. And you know what, it's not too late to register. There's some homework that you, that, that you're going to be doing before we get there. And this is not, this is not just a talk. I'm going to do an FAQ after this. This is not just a talk where I stand up there and talk for you. We're going to be in a room for 12 hours. We're going to be meditating, doing um, activities and doing a lot of, we're going to do a lot. Listen, this day is about healing. You know, it's about really when you, when you walk into that room, being a different person when you walk out. So that's what that's about. If you need more information, just come to my website, tanyatko.com. So listen, I love you all very much more than you may ever, 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 ever know, but I think you do have an idea. So listen, go out there and love yourself most no that's not how it goes i forget my own clothing lord you know what it's because i'm doing it out of order we're supposed to hug first i don't want to forget the hug and then it just all flows naturally so let's hug darling and remember if you like my if you like my outfit of the day um come over to my website and click for the outfit of the day i, I go in piece by piece all of the components and if you like my videos you can subscribe there's a little box right here with my little picture and there with blonde here <laughs> and you can subscribe right there and what else that i think that's about it let's hug let's hug and then i'll give the closing afterwards hug me hug me hug me oh i love you guys love 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 wow you're so warm today <laughs> for all this heat. Oh, goodness. So listen, go out there and love one another. But most importantly, love yourself. You can find me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Tanya TKO show. Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, that's at Tanya TKO. And that's Tanya, <laughs> that's right, with an O, T-O-N-Y-A. And be sure to come over to my website, tanyatko.com, and stay in touch with me that way. Tanya TKO, and I'm out. Peace.